What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to solder 3 quarter copper pipes into a 3 quarter copper T. Very simple. Actually it looks much harder than it is. First you're going to need a torch. I like to use map gas which is, comes in the yellow cylinders. I use a swivel head torch with uh, self igniting. Just much easier to use than to use the striker. Um, next you're going to need a cleaning brush, a fitting brush which can fit into the size copper fittings you're going to be using. Next you're going to need uh, emery paper or sandpaper and all it is is a sandpaper that when you do it just cleans the end of the pipe. It helps the solder take better. You're going to need uh, soldering flux which is just a flux used to promote the solder to go into the fittings. I like to use the no corrode flux. Uh, you need your solder. Always use 100% lead free solder just because I don't have to worry about whether I'm using it on a water line or a heat line. If you use it on a heat line, you can use the 50% lead, which I never use. Lead free solder just makes a stronger solder, too. You're going to need a tubing cutter. Very standard. You don't have to go fancy. And most importantly, every plumber needs a rack. Alright, you ready? That. You want to clean all edges that are going to be soldered. If you don't, the solder just won't take. Some people will tell you that if you use the self-cleaning flux, you don't have to clean the fittings in the pipe, but that's not true. I've tried it, it doesn't work, and it doesn't hurt. Because all this is is a fine grit sandpaper. So like I said, to clean all edges that are going to be soldered. Same thing with a fitting. You take your fitting brush and you just go in here and rough up the insides of them. This is a brand new fitting, so it doesn't need too much. Now what I like to do to help the solder take better is to just do the faces of the of the fittings. Now, take our soldering flux, put a nice thin layer on all edges that are going to be soldered. It doesn't have to be too thick. If it's too thick, it's okay. Too thick won't hurt it. Not enough will hurt it, but too thick won't hurt it. Flux all parts of the T. Put it together like so. Take your brush and just clean up the little extras on the end. Like I said, it doesn't hurt to have too much. Makes a mess, but it doesn't hurt. A question I always get when I'm teaching somebody how to solder is how much solder do I need to put on the, in the fittings? And a good rule of thumb that I was taught when I first learned was that for three quarter inch copper you want to use three quarter inches of solder. And half inch use half inch, one inch use one inch, and so on. Uh, it's a good rule of thumb to just let you know if you're using too much or not enough. So let's go to it. For a T like this, I like to put heat in the center so it disperses evenly. I can do all three sides at the same time, basically. touch this while the solder is still wet because then you'll move the fitting and who knows what will happen and it's quite hot. Uh, I don't want to get too cheesy but there is an art to soldering and the more you solder the easier it will get because you have to kind of feel it. You don't want to put too much heat on it because if you put too much heat on it and you got to put the, the solder on it it's just going to bead right off and it's not going to get sucked into the fitting like it's supposed to and then you don't have good solder and you'll leak. Um, but like I said there's, you'll feel it. You'll start to get the feeling for it the more you solder. It's not hard. It's just doing it to get the feel for it, but anybody can do it. Uh, the equipment altogether probably costs, you know, 50 bucks. You don't have to buy the expensive map gas. You can buy a cheap propane torch, which will do the same thing, just not as quickly. Um, tubing cutters aren't very expensive, and pretty much you can use any kind of solder, any kind of flux, but just make sure if you're using it on water lines, drinking water lines, portable water, you want to use lead-free solder. And that's it. You want to just check it real quick, make sure you got no gaps in your solders, no bubbles. How you solder three quarter inch copper. Like I said, it's not hard. Anybody can do it. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, any other suggestions of stuff that you would like to see me teach you how to do in the plumbing, heating field, uh, let me know and I'll make a video.
As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you when I see you.